Hey everybody, it's Jordan from Shops and Stones, and today we're going to do a quick sharpening on this uh, Strider SMG on the Edge Pro Pro. Uh, it's kind of a mouthful there, but yes, the Edge Pro Pro. We're using Matrix Stones. I'm not going to do the full Matrix progression. I'll probably stop around 650, uh, but yeah, uh, let's just cut to the chase. Let's just get to it. This is just meant to be a quick sharpening video just to kind of see how the system works, and then we'll get into a review later down the line. All right, cool, let's get into it. All right, so the very first thing we gotta do is set our angles. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and set the uh, guide rod and stone on the knife itself. I'm gonna zero my angle cube. So we're gonna go ahead and do that by setting the angle cube on the actual system here. And then we're gonna zero it out and it's zeroed. Then we'll go ahead and put our angle cube right here on the front of the stone carrier. And right now it says I'm at 14 degrees. So we need to go way up. This strider's probably gonna be more of a 23. Okay, so there's 23.15. Now, I'm just gonna set it there. I'm gonna do the Sharpie test real quick and see where we're at. All right, so I drew my Sharpie on the edge bevel and now I'm just gonna do a quick little half pass on this edge. And it looks like I'm still a little low on the angle. So we're probably gonna be closer to 24. So I'm gonna go ahead and bump that up to 24 real quick and see how that plays out. Twenty-four on the dot right now. Beautiful. All right. So, give that a quick pass. And that looks like it's removing Sharpie perfectly at 24. Okay. Now, normally on a clamped guided system, unless it was a full flat grind, I would probably just go, I probably wouldn't check the other side. But the Edge Pro kind of has a way of, mm, what's the right word? Uh, showing you that your edge bevels are uneven and that your actual primary grind bevels are uneven as well. Um, and it's honestly, I don't know if it's for the better or for the worse. It tells you if something's wrong with your knife from the factory, if it's you know just ground poorly. But at the same time, it makes it more of a hassle to fix it sometimes. So we'll just take a look here and kind of see how that removes. And that literally removes perfectly as well. All right, cool. So got our angle set. Now let's go ahead and get into the sharpening. All right, so as I said, I am using the Edge Pro Matrix. These are actually made by Columbia Gorge Stoneworks, uh, contracted through Edge Pro. This is their 80 grit. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and start with this. And the reason why I'm starting so low on 80 is because I actually, I actually did drop this right on the edge right here. So it's insanely dull right here on the belly. So we're gonna go ahead and sharpen this way. Now I am gonna kind of get into my first little gripe about this uh, stone carrier here. And that's that you don't pull here to insert the uh, stone like you would on most you know, devices that use this Edge Pro style clamps or stone carrier, sorry. You have to kind of push it in. Again, nitpicky, sure, but it annoys me. It just seems so much more convenient to just pull back, put in, drop, done. Instead, like, I naturally kind of want to go like this. And it just requires more effort. It's just not seamless. The other way would be just to set it in and then push. I guess that's not terrible. I just maybe haven't found my groove with it yet, but again, nitpicky stuff. So we're just gonna go ahead and hit up this 80 grit, build a burr on both sides. I do need to push the edge bevel um, a little bit more towards the center. It is leaning a little bit towards this side. So I will slightly work this side a little bit more than the other side. If you see that on camera, that's why. All right, so one thing I want to point out is when you're first putting your knife on the table here, um, you kind of have to use a point of reference as to 
where you're going to position your knife so you're consistent on both sides. So for me, what I'm using on this table is I'm actually using the second jimp from the front here as my point of reference on this point right here on the sliding uh, table here. And a lot of knives are pretty simple because you can usually just mount up like if it's a spider co with a, you know, full flat grind, you can literally just lay the grind flat and then meet up at the, uh, you know, plunge and that usually does a trick. Um, but some knives aren't as fortunate, this being one of them. So again, my point of reference here will be this second notch on the jimping. That way when I flip to the other side, I can just go right to the second notch and I'm lined up back to the second notch, lined up. That way we stay consistent from side to side. All right, I have my burr built on both sides now. And I'm just gonna do a couple quick passes on each side just to kind of minimize the burr before I move on to the next step. All right, so I made a couple passes on each side. There's still a little bit of a burr in some spots and there's still, it looks like a little, little, little tiny flat spot from where I dropped it. Let's see if you guys can maybe see that. Doesn't look like I can pick it up on camera. It's very minimal and the whole thing is that will literally come out through the progression. So it's really no big deal. So, I'm going to go ahead and move on. Now, notice we do have a stone thickness compensator here. I'm going to need that on this uh, next stone. I'm going to kind of get that set up and let you guys kind of see how that works. All right, so we got the stone thickness compensator. It hasn't been used because I'm on my first grit. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull this 80 grit out. We're literally going to go ahead and set it right here to where it rests. We're going to put some pressure so we know it's nice and flush. And then we're going to go ahead and tighten up this Allen key. If I can get it in there, geez, at least. Let's reposition that a little bit. Alrighty. So now I have this all compensated for. This little collar clamp is not going anywhere. So you know it's nice and secure. We'll slide the 80 grit out of there. We're gonna go ahead and move up to our, in our progression to the 250. Now, we'll slide this in here and see it slides in fairly easily. So these stones actually does have a little bit of tension, should be pretty close to the same size. But we're just gonna go ahead and loosen this, uh, you know, thumb, thumb disc clamp here, or screw, sorry, thumb screw. We're gonna loosen that and it dropped maybe a millimeter or maybe two or whatever but now it's nice and tight, nice and secure. So just like the 80 grit was. So we know our angles should match up. I'm just gonna make sure that thumb screw is nice and tight so this rod does not go up or down and we keep the same angle. So now we're gonna go ahead and put our next stone in and we are ready to go ahead and proceed with the sharpening. All right, so I just marked my edge bevel, and in case you need to see it, you just kind of get the Sharpie, and you just drag it across the edge bevel, right? Just like that. And the reason why I did that, even though we did it the first time, is because I did change stones, and I want to verify that the stone thickness is compensated for. Now, is it overkill? Yeah. I mean, it probably is. If you know what you're doing, and you're sure you compensated for the thickness, you should be fine. However, it doesn't hurt to just double check. So I'm making sure we're all lined up. I got my, you know, basically point of reference lined up here and we're gonna make our first pass. And the Sharpie came off absolutely perfect. So we know our stone thickness was compensated for properly. And now we're just gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna fly through this progression real quick. And uh, I'll get back to you guys when I'm done with this. I'm not gonna talk too much during this particular progression here. So we're just going to do a couple quick passes, just kind of clean up that scratch pattern a little bit. Because after this, we really only have uh, one more grit and then a strop, and then we're going to be done. So, yeah, enjoy the uh, sped up sharpening here.
All right, so as far as the overall scratch pattern, I'm kind of happy with what I'm looking at here. I mean, it's going to get really cleaned up on the 650 grit, um, but, you know, you like there's a little bit right there. I still have to do some burr minimalization before I move on anyways. So as I go through that burr minimalization, I'll clean up the scratch pattern just a little bit more and make it nice and uniform. And then when I hit the 650, that'll be the final step to kind of cleaning it all up and then we'll have ourselves a nice sharp knife we'll go ahead and strop and just really hone that edge and then we'll be uh done quick easy sharpening on this guy All right, so time to check out the scratch pattern before I move on. As you can see, it got cleaned up pretty nice. And then here's the other side. Still a little bit to work on right there, but again, I'm gonna hit that on the next grit. And it looks like right there too. But that should all be nice and cleaned up on the next grit. So, we're gonna go ahead and hit that stone thickness compensator once more with this uh, 650. And then we'll go ahead and get to wrapping her up. Probably gonna clean up this stone a little bit before I go too, so I'll be right back. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this 250 out, set her up to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my 650. And you see the 650 here doesn't fit. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and loosen this thumb screw up, lift it up and just let it drop down. Make sure it's dropped down with no interference from the angle of the table here. And I'm just going to go ahead and slide that out, drop her in, and then just for the sake of overkill for the video, I will hit it with the Sharpie one last time. I already know my stone thickness compensation is accurate from the last grit, but again, just for the video, we're going to go ahead and check it one last time. All right, and see, without even really being able to see it from my point of view, my angle right now, I can just feel that it's smooth as glass. So I know that the stone thickness compensation worked. All right, so just pull that up, show the camera, removed all the Sharpie, we are in business. So, Enjoy some more sped up sharpening as I go ahead and just fly through this progression really quick. All right, so looks like I have the scratch pattern cleaned up pretty well. Sorry for the delay there. I was just looking through the camera, just making sure everything looks good, which I think it does. This is pretty strop and we're still haven't done burr minimalization. I mean, the burr is hardly there at this point anyways, but still gonna do a few passes on each side just to make sure I really clean it up as much as possible before stropping. So let's we'll bang that out real quick and we'll strop and we'll be done. All right, she feels pretty sharp. This is pre strop let's just see. Yeah, she's sharp. I don't think I can slice just freely through the paper towel. Maybe I can. Well, paper towel is a little damp right there. Yeah, she's sharp. So we're just going to go ahead and strop her up real quick. Just kind of clean off any residual burr that's left and we'll call her good. All right, guys, full disclosure, my camera died. So kind of going to rush through this real quick. 
So I was going to go strop. I actually finished the whole stropping process. All I did was had to compensate for the thickness of the strop because it was quite a bit thinner than the stone. And then I covered what strop I'm using, which is just a homemade strop. I just got a plain backing plate, threw some leather on there, called it good. The compound, uh, stroppy stuff, uh, is this, a guy named Max, uh, just making compound, as far as I know, out of his garage or something. And he sent me some samples for free. Now, with that said, I do not let that influence my decision at all or my review, my feedback of the compound. So I'm going to do a couple quick passes over this just for the sake of the video, even though it's already done. It's not going to hurt. But essentially, the feedback that I have for this compound initially, I've only used the 4 micron, by the way, is that, yeah, it's not gunny juice. And yes, I'm a little bit of a gunny juice fanboy. I think Scott Gunn is an amazing dude, he does a lot for the community, and he has really good compound. Now, stroppy stuff is different, but it's still really good. You use something like gunny juice, it has, I believe, graphene in the compound, which leaves a really shiny finish, right? You get those amazing mirror polished edges. I mean, you can even make a, you know, thousand grit edge look like a mirror finish with gunny juice. Where stroppy stuff, I'm not sure what their ingredients are. I haven't gotten that far yet, but it uses some kind of different you know, mixture of, you know, diamonds, water, and whatever else he's using, right? Uh, and it's different than most other diamond compounds, right? It, it uh, leaves more of a shine than your average diamond emulsion, but not as much as gunny juice. But there's just something about it. I'm not quite sure. I can't put my finger on it. I almost feel like it blends scratches better than gunny juice dare i say i mean i don't know it's tough to say but it's so far so good i'm obviously going to do quite a bit more testing before i do a full review um but yeah so real quick before i wrap up just a couple quick shopping tips um when you're using a guided system you never do edge leading strokes you always do edge trailing means you're coming from you know the back to the front. You never, never go into the edge. Always pull towards you. And the reason for that is if you pull up, you're going to cut into your strap, which, you know, you can see I've done accidentally, like not lifting up, you know, fully before I start going back forward. That's what that is. Maybe some of that. Uh, another tip I have for you guys is the tip. Now, this isn't applied to just dropping. This is specifically even more for stones but never go out past the tip more than maybe like an eighth of an inch and always do your best to match the angle of the tip. The reason for that is that's how you roll your tip, especially with the stone. You're not gonna really roll the tip with a strop, but with a stone, you definitely will. And the best thing you can do is just even let the strop just rest right there. It's gonna match the angle naturally. And you just pull back, just pull back. It's all you have to do, and you'll match that angle perfectly. If you go out too far, what happens? You see this whole thing angles way more than it should. It's because it's resting on the tip and barely hanging on. So if you just either match a tip or just barely go past, like I said, maybe about an eighth of an inch, it'll just line up perfectly with that tip, and you will be good to go. No worries. Does it sometimes take a little bit more effort, more time to do it this way, to make sure you don't roll the tip? Yes. But is it worth it? Also, yes. So, yeah, that's all I got for the stropping. Let's go ahead and take a look how she came out. If she wants to focus. She doesn't really want to focus. So, we'll just go ahead and do some cut tests real quick and we'll wrap her up. All right, guys, just gonna do a quick best test just to kind of see where we are. 105. Do another one really quick. Resetter. Sorry for the wobbly camera.
135. And I guess it should be done in threes, right? One last one. And this one will kind of do the heel. Just gonna see what that's coming out as. Because I got the belly twice. So we'll just go for the heel. Oh, sorry. <laughs> 120. So yeah, consistently low 100s, guys. Uh, I'd say that came out pretty good. All right, guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. I am still trying to build the channel. Gonna have the full review of the Edge Pro Pro coming soon. Gonna have a review of Strappy stuff coming soon. Uh, a couple other videos, uh, KME, just sharpening video. And yeah, a lot of content coming your guys' way. Hope you guys enjoy. Thanks.